Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. Finally, the 2.5 x86 computers that I ordered from Taobao had just arrived. And in this video, let's unbox the device and see what do we get inside. So uh, the ETA is around two weeks after the order day. And here is the package. So we can see that it will pack nicely. Let us open it. Right, that's good. Okay, we can see that the one, two, three, four, and five layer of bubble wrap. So this seller really did a good job in packing the stuff. Let's take it out. And here is the box, a cartoon box, another layer of protection. Let's open it up. All right, so here is the box and I think I will need to stop the video for some minute to take some pictures before we unboxing it. Sorry for the interruption. Let's continue with the unboxing. So first of all, we have a power adapter. Uh, let me see. The brand is, I don't know what it is. Sorry, I cannot read the brand right here, but uh, from the spec, okay. So the name is Dajing and we can see that it is 12 volts and 3 m I'm not sure if you can see it. A usual DC connector. And next we have a SATA cable. So this is a small power connector that fit inside the main board. And this is the usual SATA cable. Hogozheng like the QC certificate, but I don't think we need it. And some nuts or screw, maybe for holding the hard drive. And finally, this is our router uh, or the x86 computer. So let's uh, take it out. All right. All right, so let's take a look at the PC. We have four ports, one, two, three, four, and all of them is 2.5 gigabit. And next we have the power and also the hard disk activity LED. A usual power connector. At this side, we have a power button, two USB type A, and it should be USB 3.0 or 2.3.2. HDMI port, VGA, reset buttons, and two holes for external wireless antenna. It looks very solid. So we can see that it had a special design so that we can have more air come into those uh, heat sink and help with the air ventilation. At the back, we do have a big hole like this and you can add another fan for cooling purposes. Very good, very good build. Let me open some screws and see. All right, so here is how it looks like. And I think that in order to remove this ball, we will need to open everything. So let's do the same for this side. Very good. It is aluminum alloy for sure. So inside we have two RAM slot right here. 
M.2 connector that can support NVMe, right? I'm not sure if it supports uh, the M.2 SATA, right or not, but let's check it out. A mini PCIe connectors, and according to the manufacturer, this slot can also support the USB in PCIe, mini PCIe connector, for example, an LTE module. We do have a slot for a micro SIM card, and okay, let's take a look at the connector. So this one is a SATA connectors and the SATA power. And next we have some pin for power LEDs or power buttons. And right here, I believe this one should be a USB connector. All right, that's a lot of connectors. We do have a CPU fan connector just in case you want to add a cooling fan and this one has four pins so we can control the speed of the fan also. On this side we have the two pin terminals that you can see so I believe it should be for DC power input and this one is our power check. Very good build so now I'm going to insert my RAM module and Let's boot up the device with OpenWRT first and later we will check it out. So right here I have two uh, four gigabyte DDR4 RAM for laptop and we have the bus 3200. So I think we will need to install this one back because actually we don't need to remove everything to take out that fan. Okay, I changed my mind because just now I think of the network adapters of these network ports is Intel i225V and we surely need to build a firmware that included those driver so that it can work in OpenWRT. But in this case, we have uh, no pre-built firmware. So I'm going to give a try with Ubuntu first. With that being said, I will need to connect my SATA cable. Right, it's a little bit difficult. Very good. And here I have a 2.5 inch solid state right from Colorful. It has Ubuntu pre on, so let's just give a try with that. How do we put this hard right inside this small case? Well, like this? No. This cannot. All right, so I think we will need a half size LSD, not the full size one. But just leave it for now. I'm going to connect the power cable to boot up the board. So first of all, it will be the HDMI cable because we want to see what is going on for sure. HDMI cables and after that we need a mouse let me see where is my USB okay the USB receiver for mouse okay and the power adapter let's put it in 
Very good. We can see that the LED, the power LED already light off and also the power status right here. And on my PC, on the monitor, nothing happened. But let's just wait for that. Maybe it will take some time to boot up the system. All right, so then nothing happened on the HDMI monitor. Unfortunately, All right, so just now there is a beep sound and we have something happening on the screen. So version 2.22.1282 and press DELS or ESC to enter setup. Very good. Let's go to the BIOS and see what do we have. So during the first boot of this PC, it is going to take some time. So actually, it's go directly to the Ubuntu uh, OS instead of the BIOS which is something queer. In the meantime, let me find a network cable and hut it up. All right, so it looked like the OS is hang and nothing happened because uh, this Ubuntu was installed on another machine. Okay, actually we can see the mouse moving around. Oh, very good. So here it is Ubuntu running on this PC. Very good. We can see that the network port is up and running. Let's check it out. If we go to system, what do we have? Where is system settings, all right, that's fine. Everything is working as expected, but it's kind of slow. So inside Ubuntu, we have uh, one, two, three, and four port. And we can see that the port is in 1000 megabit per second because it is connected to an upstream switch, which is one gigabit. Okay, so Bluetooth, there no Bluetooth, all right, that's good. Let's go to about. And for the device name, we can just ignore it because it's where the HAD will take out from my Dell. But we have here 7.6 gigabyte of RAM and it is Intel Celeron and 5105 at 2 gigahertz. Okay, we have Intel UHD graphics. And that is 256. Open the blue. Um, no, sorry. Open to 20.04 LTS. That is good. Let me open the terminal. And let's see. Okay, so. Let's zoom it in a little bit. Let's run L at PCI dash V. Okay, so we can see that the Ethernet controller, the driver for the 2.5 gigabit is Intel Corporation device 15F3 or revision 0 0.3, uh, which is the last revision, I assume. It will take me some time to play around and test out this x86 OpenWRT router, which is powered by the Intel and 5105 CPU from Intel. And I will come up with some other related videos on this device details overview as well as the OpenWRT performance and all the stuff. So thanks for watching and see you all in the next video. Bye bye.